You know, if we had a real ostrich here, they can stand nine feet tall. They can weigh 350 pounds. But even though they are a bird, there's something they don't do like other birds. Thank God they don't fly. <laughs> Who wants 350 pound Mr. Ostrich land on their shoulder? I don't think so either. You know what happens? You make a funny noise. You go <laughs> No, he doesn't fly, but he can run. The ostrich is one of the fastest running animals in the world. And he only has two legs. He's not like the cheetah or the tiger with four legs. This bird has been clocked on the African savanna at 50 miles an hour, which spurts to 58 miles per hour. So when you're riding in the car, you tell the driver, go 50. Look out the window how fast you're moving. Mr. Ostrich run right beside you. He's our biggest bird from the African savanna and a place called the Serengeti. Now, if birds live every place, they must live right here where we live. Have some birds flying around here? I have some I think everybody would know. Everybody knows this bird. The robin. Very. What does a robin eat? Worm. You like worms? Robin likes worms. Well, this is a very good poster of a robin. Take a good look. Can anyone tell me, is this the picture of a boy robin or a girl robin? What do you think? Boy. 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 Oh, wait, I'm hearing different now. How many think this one is a boy? How many think this one is the girl? That's the only two pics you get. Oh. <laughs> In the world of birds, we have the word morphism, monomorphism, mono meaning one. A number of species of birds, the male and female, look exactly the same. You cannot tell when you see that bird, if it's male or female. Even if you catch that bird, they're not like any other animal. You don't peek up under there. Tells you nothing. When they look alike, they work together. And they build something. And it's here somewhere. <laughs> what do they build? Nest. A nest. Both the boy and the girl, they put the mud, the grass, the straw. When there's eggs in that nest, even the boy bird sits on the eggs. So with all the nest up in the tree, when you see a bird sitting there, adult bird, that might be the boy bird. When we have babies, mom and dad take turns feeding the worms. Takes three to four weeks. Those babies grow very quickly, have all their feathers, they leave the nest, and mom and dad show them how to find those worms. When the young birds fly off, they're off to fend for themselves. No more help from mom and dad. That's birds that look alike. It's called monomorphism. Well, let me see. Who knows this bird? Cardinal. Cardinal. Boy or girl? Boy. Uh -huh, lots of boys. Dimorphism. Some birds, when you see the bird, you know if it's a boy or a girl. The boy bird is the pretty bird. The boy bird has the beautiful colors, the vibrant plumage. I have a picture of the boy and girl together. She is much different. She's a fawn color, brown color. She does have some red in her flight feathers, her tail feathers, and top of her head. When the birds look different, it's the boy bird that does all the work building the nest. He finds all the material. Now, once in a while, you may see the girl bird bring something. The nest that I'm holding was built at Easter time. You know how I know that? You have to look inside. There's Easter basket grass. Weaved into that nest. I think it was the girl bird. 
She found the Easter basket, brought the grass back to the boy bird, and she said, Do you know what that means? That means, here, put that in, that's pretty. When this nest is all finished, the boy bird calls his girl bird and says, hey, come and look what I made. And she looks very carefully inside, all around, underneath. If for some reason she doesn't approve of this nest, she tears it apart and throws it to the ground. Why do you think she would do that after he did all this work? Any guesses? Because no, she doesn't like it. What? She doesn't like it. But why would she throw it on the ground? Why do you, why do you think? She didn't like it. She didn't like the bathroom curtains. No, she didn't like it. Very good. The boy bird's the pretty bird. The girl bird's the smart bird. This boy bird, he doesn't sit on the nest. Look at his bright colors. We have hungry hawks and falcons out there. They would see him right away, and they like to eat the eggs for breakfast. The girl bird is the same color. She can hide the nest, camouflage it. The hawks would never see it, and it's always up to her. If she says, oh, that nest isn't in a good place, I don't think it's big enough for all the eggs we're going to put in there. That's the way she communicates. When this nest gets torn apart and thrown down, the boy bird knows he has to build her another one if he wants to have a family. See, that's one way that birds communicate. But birds are also a lot like people. Uh, who can tell me how do we communicate? We talk. We talk, that's right. And we have some people that live in different places. They speak other languages than we do. All of the birds speak their own language. Here's our little boy cardinal. Now when he talks, this is his language. See, if you were a cardinal, you know what this bird was talking about. And here's a bird called the Baltimore Oriole. This bird comes through our area, but when he talks, it's a different language. He talks like this. Completely different language. And we have the bluebird. Now the bluebird, we call him a songbird. Because when this bird talks, he sings a pretty song. His song sounds like this. Did you ever hear a bird sing like that? No. If you do, you call me right away.